My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of Aeon Flux. And this is a movie that got terrible reviews. I believe it's at a 9% on Rotten Tomatoes. It bombed at the box office. I've heard nothing but terrible things. But looking at it, I feel like it could have been a really fun movie. Like, I went in expecting to have fun. You know, I enjoy the movie Dead or Alive, and I feel like this movie could have been that kind of goofy fun. And for a little bit, it actually lives up to that potential, because I liked the first act of this movie. I thought it embraced its goofiness. There was this scene where two characters are going through and you know, a bunch of booby traps and there's literal blades of grass and I really loved that. And whenever we see... Her name's actually Aeon Flux. I'm... Oh, sorry. I just... <laughs> okay. Whenever Aeon Flux was sneaking around, she walks like the girl from the grudge, like she's a spider and that really made me laugh. And I'm like, okay. This just might actually be fun. And I will say, I think the production design in this movie is good. And there's this one moment where Aeon Flux finds this spider thing that kind of transports her to a different area. And I'm like, okay, this is a decent scene. But everything else in this movie is absolutely terrible. After that first act, it just evolves into complete nonsense. This movie is just filled with exposition from beginning to end. And it just doesn't feel like anything is ever happening. It just feels like it's constantly explaining stuff and it never gave me a reason to care. I thought this movie also felt as generic as they come. It's very poorly directed. The action sequences were lacking in every sense. And the characters are just very boring. Charlie Theron, I like her as an actress. I thought she was fantastic and potentially Oscar worthy for her performance in Mad Max Fury Road. I thought she was great in Atomic Blonde. That is a very good action movie. I like her in the Italian job, but here, just no bit of personality, very stale. Francis McDormand, Sophie Oknajar, Martin Sakarva, and Johnny Lee Miller are completely forgettable performances. No one does a good job here, but this is just a movie that fell completely flat for me. It's not this fun action movie. It's not this complex sci-fi. It's just a very boring, forgettable movie filled with cliche plot elements that we have seen so many times. There's nothing new about this movie. So, oh, and it's an hour and a half long and it felt like it was two, two and a half hours. It really dragged for me. So I'm going to go ahead and give Aeon Flux a three out of 10. Okay, what did you think of Aeon Flux? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos soon, and Gavin out.